I will say I am like a little scared for you to crack my neck. <gasps> <gasps> My lower back hurts. How often do you have low back pain? Like a couple times a week. I think it has to do with my job and also being a mom. Following after like a year of having her, I would get sciatic nerve pain. I also have shoulder pain as well. So is it, is it or because of your job, is it when you work? I, th I think the pain that I experience now, not like my sciatica, I think my low back pain is probably because of my job. Right. Just because of me like running around all the time. Tell me about your shoulder. How long have you had shoulder pain for? A very long time. Probably since I was in high school. Yeah. And it, it flares up a lot when I'm at work. And I think because with me bartending and I'm tapping beer and like the constant movement over and over again, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure, but it gets really bad. Like sometimes my shoulder gets really inflamed that I am like crying. Any headaches ever? I do get headaches. Yeah, right. and I only just started getting headaches. I was just talking about this in the last year and a half. Sometimes I get really bad migraines. Mm -hmm. um, what do you, do you do anything for it? Do you take anything? No, I don't really like to take medicine. Okay. Um, do you have light sensitivity? I mean, if I'm driving, I guess, yeah, the sun bothers my eyes. Do you get nauseous with it? N no, but when I get my... When my head starts hurting, it makes me nauseous. I stand up too fast sometimes, yeah. You okay. ever get that where you like stand up too fast and you're like about to black out? Uh, okay, how often does that happen? Oh, a lot. Have you ever been adjusted by a chiropractor? You went to a consultation, have you ever been adjusted by one? No. Okay. I went to the consultation and then um, I was under the impression that my insurance was gonna cover it and it did not okay so then i was just like i'll just deal with my back pain mm -hmm. all right good so how do you feel about it how it's getting I adjusted today i'm excited okay very good. yeah i will say i am like a little scared for you to crack my neck mm, like, okay. that freaks me out i will take my time I will, it's my job to make sure that you're ready to get adjusted okay so okay. i won't first of all we'll practice adjustments before i do them so you can kind of feel what they're like i'll let you know when i'm doing it there won't be any surprises and i'll make sure you're relaxed so it'll be perfect Okay. All right, looking at the feet first, I don't see any pronation or supination. Flattened arch on the right side. Good. Is it on the left too? Yep, both sides. And bowing of the Achilles tendon that suggests some slight pronation at the foot. I don't see any inversion or external, exver external uh, rotation though. Good. All right, from the knee down, nice and straight. No genuvarum, no genuvalgum. That's good. Hip swing looks symmetrical from the front. We'll see it on the back as well. High right shoulder. Okay, good. These are all normal stuff. Okay. Uh, definitely a high right shoulder, possibly a high left hip if we look at the waistband. All right, yep, high right shoulder, and we've got a high right ear too. Yeah, leave them flat. Yeah, you're a runner for sure. You could use some arch support. That's good. Put your hands on your hips, please. Okay, I'm gonna place my hands on your hips, okay? Okay. Good, that relax. Okay, let your arms relax. Oh. Yeah. And definitely have a high right hip, high right shoulder, so we're definitely gonna check for a curvature and a high right ear. So we're very this way. That would suggest an apex of curvature in the thoracic spine on the right. Yeah, you can see the bowing here on the Achilles tendon. That suggests pronation. Okay, very good. Just observing the spine, let's check. That's definitely a high right shoulder from the scapula. And still a high right hip with the seated position. Actually, that did reverse. Now it's much more even close to even, if not the left a little bit higher on seated. So a little bit of change in the pelvis was seated. And uh, the left mastoid process is high now in the seated position, so we'll have to check that one more time. Okay, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine, okay? This is a temperature evaluation. I use the back of my hands, which are more sensitive to temperature. You have all the heat's coming from here. Shoulder blades, maybe a little tad more on the right, but just as much heat coming off at the left, but it's really just to here. Starts to cool off. This is very consistent, calm, symmetrical. 
And then as soon as we get down to the sacrum on the right side again. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the sacrum. Do you have any tenderness when I push here? Mm, not particularly, no. Here. No. Lower SI here. Mm, a little bit. A little bit more. There's some swelling here. Do you feel yeah. all that bubbliness? Yeah. yeah. Right side, is this tender uh, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More so here, just the most? Um, One. Uh, two. No, more on the left side. More on the left. Okay, yeah. so lower SI joint, but tenderness on both sides. So we'll have to check for a sequel oh. cup. Okay. Did you ever get? Did you ever fall on your butt really hard? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna push into the spine. Your tenderness discomfort right here. No. L five is moving here. L four. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of tension there at L four. Let's get one more up three. How about here? Tension here. One more? Yeah, that feels weird, like... In the front? Yeah. Okay. That feels weird. Musculature is symmetrical, maybe just a little more pronounced on the left-hand side. So we'll check for a left lumbar listing, or bilateral SI joint from your chin down to your chest. Good movement in the lower cervical spine there, everything's fine. Upper cervical C2, not moving as much. Is that tender right there? Oh, a little bit. Oh, yeah, actually, out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, that's coming from trap fiber here. Uh, let's just let's just test this and see if we have to do this work. So we'll just hold this. Okay, breathe. Good release there. Is that still tender? Yeah. A little bit. That feels good. Looking at the pelvic tilt, you're going to feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Okay. okay we're going to trace up to the bottom of the glute fold. It's lower on the right. That means the right hip is going back like this or the left forward. Then looking from the top, feet are even. This looks pretty good. So no ex external or internal rotation, but we do have this right hip, left hip thing like twisted like that. It's okay. okay. We just have a little bit of rib humping on the left here. Okay, just checking for very slight swaying motions in your posture. Mm -hmm. That's normal, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's normal. It just depends on which way you go. Good, it's pretty steady. I don't see a whole lot of lateral. It's more front to back, which is good. That means you have a, a pelvic, uh, that means you have a stable pelvis. So let's bend both your knees. Like this? Yep. It's pretty good, but you feel how the feel how the right one lags. Yes. Do you, do you feel it over here in yes. your hip? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's bring that down. It's coming from your coccyx. Ready? So I'm gonna palpate your sacrum first. We'll start like this. Okay. This is your sacrum. I'm palpating down your sacrum. This is the end of your sacrum right here. This is your first coccyx segment. Okay. It was the second one. Ready? One, two. Tender. Mm -hmm. One, two. Three, it's same, same two in the beginning. Yeah. It's tender, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? But this, is, this isn't this is just coming from here. First of all, we have a lumbar segment out somewhere that I was pushing on before. That was at L4. It's on the left. Okay, first I'm gonna correct this. Okay. okay, this sucks right here, right? It's terrible? Yeah, that hurts. All right, ready? We're gonna come back down to this segment right here. These two things are connected. It's along the same trap line. Okay, so we're just gonna hold this for a minute. We're gonna test the directions. One, two, up, down, one, two. It's this way here. This one here, this fiber needs to go one, one, two. Uh, they're both in the same direction. So we're gonna hold that tension as you breathe. Yeah, this is this is tight. You you do have a, a slight curvature. I wouldn't even call it a scoliosis. It's normal. You can live to like 99 <laughs> with that curvature. It's not gonna make a difference. Just keep practicing your posture. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's test it here. Is this still terrible? Does that still suck? Yeah. Okay. What about this one over here? Is this, does that still stuck? suck? Is that better? Yeah. Okay, that one's better. How about this one out here? Does that still suck? No, that one's not bad. All right, so let's do this. Let's come up to this occipital fiber that we found. You have headaches, so we're going to find out where they're coming from, if they're coming from your spine. Okay, this still sucks here? Uh. 
Okay, this is a trap fiber. This one's here. That sucks too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna hold these points. Okay, is that better? Yeah. How about that one? Is that one better? Um, a little bit. This one still, still sucks, huh? still tender, yeah. All right, we have a thoracic segment then to deal with. Okay, I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper into the spine. Tender. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, we got some upper thoracic stuff here, T3. Okay, right at the bra line, T7. This lumbar segment's not there anymore. That's good. That means that adjustment I just did was helpful.
take a deep breath in. Good, and out. I'm gonna follow your breath down like this. Good, and then at the end of your breath, right there, is when I'm gonna give a little push like that, okay? okay. A deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, shoulders sinking in. Good, letting it all go. Oh. How's that pressure, okay? Yeah. Okay, nice and gentle. That one right there. Yeah. Okay, ready? Shoulders sinking, letting it all go. As you breathe out, just feel your whole body sinking into the table. Oh. Oh. Good breathe. Almost tense in there, huh? That felt so good. That's <laughs> this segment right here. Three. We're going this way. All right, let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Good shoulders relaxing. Good, perfect. Just like that. Let the shoulder go here. A little bit more. Good. There's a little bit more there. Okay, lay on your back for a second. Lower your waistband so I could contact the SI joint. Okay. Okay. okay so we're just gonna lower the SI, lower to the SI joint right here. Good. This one has gone posterior and inferior that way. So let's give it a try. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Good and out. Good. Shoulders sinking. Okay, lay on your back. Again, lay on your side, fist over here. How's that, Bob? That's okay. Okay, nice and gentle. Okay, here's the acetabular ridge here. Okay, we're gonna take a deep breath in and out. Good. Shoulders sinking in. Let the hips relax and shoulders. Oh, there it goes. A little bit more. Lay on your back. Mm -hmm. You right? Yeah. Right short, supine. Okay, go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Okay, now turn your head to the left. Back to center. Good, we were right atlas. That's what we saw on the muscle test. Uh, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Like this? Yeah, uh -huh. center. Bring your left ear down. Not much going on in lower circle. Okay, good.
gently, just like the other adjustments. I'm gonna bring your head over to the side like this. Good, and all you have to do is breathe and let go, let your head completely drop. I'm gonna follow your breath in this direction, and we're gonna push like that, okay? Okay. Okay, nice and gentle. Breathing into your nose, good, and down. That was crazy. Uh, pretty good right though, no pain. That was so crunchy. Mm -hmm. No pain. All right, nice and gentle sinking in here. Good, we're gonna adjust very gently at the top. Good, let the head drop down this way. Good, we're nice and gentle. Good, bring this down at this go. Okay, I'm gonna adjust your ankle now. I pull down in this direction like that, okay? Okay. Uh. I'm gonna with this guy, go ahead, just sinking in. It's right there. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna uh, adjust your pubic bone, so you're gonna squeeze my fist in between your knees. Go and squeeze, as hard as you can. Should Yeah. Your okay, I'm going to do a digestive organ manipulation. Okay, we start with the ileocecal valve. Okay, this is the window between the large and small intestine. We find it by finding the belly button and the ASIS. We connect these two points. Why are you making me fart? <laughs> <laughs> it was just here. Tender? Yeah. Yes. Okay, nice, slow breathing. Connects the ileus, uh, pyloric sphincter is where the stomach empties into the intestine. Close. Yours is here, it's empty. It's good. Can okay, I do a diaphragm manipulation? Okay, nice and tender right there, huh? Yeah. Okay, breathe into your belly. Do a belly breath. Now do a belly breath. Good, and out. Good, do it again. Belly breath. Out. One more. Nice soft breathing into your belly. Good deep breath right here into my hand. Almost. One more. There it was. Better? Now it's tender, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. We're going to go like this, and then at the end, we pull like that. Okay. Okay, I do this all the time, don't worry, it's gonna be great. Okay, gentle breathing, sinking, shoulders and hips, and everything is letting go. <gasps> letting go. <gasps> Breathe. It's okay for it to be a little stiff. That felt crazy. Yeah, keep breathing. That felt so good, but that felt really weird also. It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah.
yeah, I don't really mm -hmm. think I can compare that to anything else. Mm -hmm. That was weird. That was crazy. Did you feel all the way down? Yeah. My body feels... Oh. <laughs> You're going to feel great. Oh, yeah. I think your headaches, I think there's a good chance that a lot of your headaches are actually coming from a lot of this, like, neck shoulder stuff, even though you may not feel that all the time. But if they're tension-related headaches, then you should probably feel really good after this for a while. Okay. I don't know. I, after that, my body feels really crazy. That was crazy. How's your back feel? It feels really good. It doesn't hurt, so that's good. <laughs> I feel like... I don't know, that really, like, that felt, that felt really weird, but I feel good, like, I don't feel, like, any pressure, or, like, tension or anything. Right, right here, so we're gonna bring this down like this, look up at the ceiling, like that, the right back of us here. Was good. Good. Is it a hop or, or a nugget? It's a hop. It's very invasive species. What? Hops. I've grown them before. Oh. Got that relax here. Does this feel like compared to this? Are they the same? In one direction more tender than the other? Um. One, two. I Which one hurts? One, two, or the same? They're about the same. I feel like, yeah. Same? Yeah. No, my left side a little bit. Is this tender, right? Yeah, a little bit. Open your jaw. Ow. Sorry. Close. Open. Close. <laughs> Open. Almost. Okay. <sighs> breathe, 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 breathe. That was good. like that okay 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 nice and gentle breathing into your nose good and down Let's go. 
Oh, there it goes. A little bit more. Mm -hmm.